What's up peeps? Back with another video. This time we're gonna talk about harsh light street photography with the Leica SL2S. I got the Leica SL2S for some time now and I've been using it for a lot of video work, a lot of photography as well. It's my main camera beside my Leica Q. So I always wanted to get like fully into the Leica system and um, I didn't like the first Leica SL. I tried it when it came out way back when but um this thing this thing is a beast uh, it's a hybrid camera you can use it for photography you can use it for a video and that's actually the reason i got it and uh, i've been shooting on some assignments some video assignments with this camera and it's insane the tracking the stabilization is sick i'm shooting handheld most of the time not using gimbals not using anything else i like a small setup like i mentioned earlier for my type of photography or videography this is amazing so um, I started using it more for street photography as well because I love the versatility of using different lenses on it much like the Sony system you can use like almost any lens on this camera uh, just by the right adapter I've been using all the Canon FD lenses on it manual focus lenses that are amazing I've been using M lenses on it and right now I'm shooting on a Sigma 35mm f2 the new eye line I think they call it I think I'm gonna be buying more into the, the Sigma system because uh, the lenses are super compact and small Before we get into the topic of this video, I just want to take a second and talk about music. When I'm creating videos, I use a lot of time on finding the right music and connect it with the, the shots I did. So I've been using music from this site called Epidemic Sound and um, I recently became an ambassador for the brand. So thank you Epidemic Sound, that's amazing. Epidemic Sound is a website where you can download music for your YouTubes, your video projects. There's like tons of genres you can get into. There's tons of moods you can get into. Uh, they even have sound effects so if you need like different effects for for any type of project you can use it there so all the music that I'm using in my videos is actually from Epidemic Sound and um, right now if you want to get into Epidemic Sound they have a, a 30 day free trial check it out and see if it's something for you and then you subscribe on a monthly basis or yearly basis up to you but I can highly recommend it because uh, the music I've been using I've been super happy with it and like I said there's tons and tons of styles and, and moods and genres you could use uh, if you're into hip-hop you can get that rock or um, pop whatever you want use it so check it out Let's get into it. As you probably know, if you know my Instagram feed, I love silhouettes, harsh light, super contrasty images, moody. So I spend a lot of time on the streets shooting in different light conditions. I love rain, snow, moody shit, but I also love shooting in direct sunlight or harsh light, if you can call it that. For me, it's like I'm finding those small cracks of light come in, hitting walls, different shades. It could be the sun reflecting from some windows that I can use. So I, I wanna talk a little bit about that and show you some examples. I have a certain way of shooting and almost 90% of the time I know what, I'm, what the final result would be. From a, from a certain scene that I'm looking at. What I will tell you about shooting in harsh light is don't be afraid of experimenting again. Find some spots, find some some cool spots where the light, uh, like literally just cutting the whole thing in half where you have the light and you have the dark and just wait, wait for something awesome to happen, something, somebody walking into your scene and, and create that image that you want. I revisit my spots a lot because light changes, uh, people change, uh, your scene changes. Working with sunlight, it, the sunlight actually moves pretty fast. You can walk away, you can stand in a, in a place for 10 minutes and then you come back an hour later and it's totally different. So 
revisit your your spots, maybe you attack them, do whatever that works for you. I, I remember that mentally because it's the same route I almost walked. Try to use that for uh, advantage. This is where the Leica SL2S excels as well because you can shoot a scene and if you want to do a little bit of video, you can switch over uh, pretty quickly. And again, I mean, use different lenses get closer, get wider, everything. I'm still using my Leica Q on my daily basis as well, but I'm starting to carry my Leica SL2S. I'm shooting this video on the Leica SL2S as well. So there you have it. My my tips for shooting harsh light, again, like I mentioned in my first video, remember to just have your camera on. I mean, you never know what happens and it can happen in a split second. Don't use time looking at the pictures you already took. Just shoot and just keep shooting. Think about it in the sense that you shoot with an analog camera, right? You don't have any screen. Uh, you just shoot and you just wait so you get, you get home and you can look at your shots. That way you will also be surprised at what you get. And again, look for colors, look for contrast, everything that you, you can use. My personal preference is working with silhouettes. And the reason I do that is also to protect the, my subject's identity. It's a good way of hiding them. You can use people as contrast to the background. So, I mean, try to use that if that works for you. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Subscribe, like the video if you're into that, and uh, see you in the next one. Peace.